that music there, Mr. Blue Sky. <laughs> it, uh, it gets you going there in the and beginning Dana, of the week. Dana, yeah. Dana, Dana, Paul's with me, Paul Waters of Enviro Group uh, here, based in Warren Point and doing great things from the tiniest of little acorn. Uh, acorns has grown Enviro Group. And give us this. You're now inputting to the economy of the of the area by 25 jobs that's 25 families that's a fair bit of uh, of investment for people in their well-being uh, how did it all start and what do you do well we started off fif uh, 15 years ago uh, with two people uh, we've grown grown to 25 persons as you just said uh, we sp we're a specialized cleaning company mm. and uh, ventilation hygiene and installation. We also do aircon. Yeah. And that, you've used two words there: ventilation, hygiene, and aircon. Yes. If you get that wrong, you're simply blowing rubbish at people. That's exactly right. Fair point, and I hope the listeners will uh, buy into that. We offer the service to ensure that people are getting clean air, yeah. and fire risk assessments are being sorted out so that there are no fires yeah. within, you know, hospitals, yeah. uh, hotels, restaurants, and we're just trying to get the message out to people throughout the length and breadth of Ireland. And across uh, in England as well, yeah. and you you started very very small. We started very very small, but we have a. Tell us about that start. We started we what? started off as a uh, two young guys, if you pardon the, the young Why guys, not? Uh, who wanted to do something different. We've yeah. seen a, a niche in the market. Are, we, are you local folk? I'm I'm not. I'm from Belfast. Uh, Paul at Paul, uh, my colleague, uh, he's from Warren Point, uh -huh. and basically what we did, we seen a niche in the market, and we went for it, yeah. and. Uh, we went to different companies uh, with our hands out asking for work, and it's built from there. Yeah. I mean, when you say you, when you say you saw a, ni a niche in the market, uh, how did was it a, a process of market research, or how did you discover that niche? It was a process of looking out to see what people. We worked with a company called if I'm allowed to yeah, plug it, do. Uh, Botanic Ends with a yeah. guy called Jazz Mooney. Yeah, we, and know, we, know we spoke to Jazz yeah. Mooney and said to him we had a little business idea. Uh, to do his grease extractions and kitchen cleans and there's a fair risk involved in it and uh, would he be interested and thank god uh jazz said he would be very interested he was our first client yeah well you were doing he you were doing him outlets. good business of he needed we that were. so we started from there and our name grew and we started dealing with uh, botanic inns wine inns kfc's Burger wow. Kings, McDonald's, you go into Burger King, McDonald's, and, and you go into these places, and you you make sure that the the ventilation systems, the kitchen uh, air supply systems are all good yes, and, and clean. The grease extraction system are clean. We provide a very very worthwhile. How do you service. get rid of the grease? Uh, we get rid of the grease. Uh, the grease is uh, disposed of. We use a local company who will then take it away. Yeah, and we'll certify that. Yeah, and that's that's. Because there's another company in Yuri does they have this thing, a grease buster. They do the grease buster, yes, yeah. they do. That's completely different. They're grease traps, but what yeah. we basically yeah. do is grease extraction. So I mean, it doesn't get into the sea. You're taking it, it out of the air. We are taking it out of the air and we're taking it out of the grease extraction. We're trying to educate people wow. the difference between grease extraction yeah. and grease traps. Because grease is if, if 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 you're in a greasy environment, that's right. It, to my simple mind, it makes sense to say that you're ingesting some of this you're, on a you're, constant you're basis. You are ingesting it. You've bad air, but also it's a major fire risk. So therefore, what we are doing is we're uh, taking away the fire risk from the premise. Uh, the analogy yeah. we would use uh, is it's like a, a giant chip pan running through your building. Should it be a hospital, Whoa. a hotel, or a restaurant? So yeah. the fire risk is great. And we're a limited Paul, risk. Did, did you find when you went to these the, the, these outlets, especially the higher uh, the higher players, hospitals and and the like, did you find that they were automatically aware of the the risk factors surrounding uh, them? <laughs> no, I have to say that it's been a, a very slow, long, drawn out process where we're trying to educate uh, yeah. people. Uh, what has to be done uh, regarding grease extraction and what their obligations are yeah. for but health you know, and safety perspective. You know as well as I know, people who are there doing the thing, they don't like to be talked at. No, they don't. Well, I mean, what I always say to people is it's out of sight, it's out of mind. Mm. And unfortunately, in our, our job, most people will, it's out of sight, it's out of mind. We don't have to do this. Yeah. But we have to make them aware that it is a health and uh, safety risk. Yeah. And also, it's a, a compliance issue. So therefore, for the insurance purposes, 
they have to comply. And, and if they didn't clean. comply and something goes wrong, they're, then they're, they're, they're culpable. They're culpable, they're not culpable. the insurance yeah, company. That's yeah. exactly right. Well, if they don't have it done and they don't have the certification for it, their insurance is null and void. Yeah. Where do people, you know, where are you operating in Newry, for example? Well, in Newry we do uh, Dizzy Hill Hospital. Uh, we do sell several of the small uh, fast food outlets. Uh, uh, we do down south Dublin, throughout the whole south of Ireland, the whole of Northern Ireland. So we do a considerable amount of. Uh, see, there, there must have come a outlets. moment, Paul. There must have come a moment, a kind of eureka moment, when you said, or you and yourself and your partner said, "Wow, this is taking off." Yes. We're no longer we fellas yes. uh, operating out of the out of the garage, maybe yes. or this, uh, the yes. equivalent too. We're now going big here. Was that a frightening uh, kind of well, time? <sighs> I think you always have to keep your feet firmly on the ground. Um, I don't see ourselves as big as such. Yeah. We're providing a service. It doesn't matter if it's for the small shop in the corner or the hospital mm. or a major chain of mm. hotels. We're still very, very modest about what we do. Yes. Uh, we're offering a service. Hope it's a very good service. We have all our accreditations, which is a, an expensive commodity to buy. Really, yes. But that would differentiate us from the what we would call, and no disrespect to him, the white van man who oh, will yeah. have no accreditations, no public liability. So when you Such come like, in, when Enviro Group come in and put their stamp, that stamp means something. That stamp, that's exactly the point we're trying to get across to people. When we certify a job, as you say, that stamp they're actually clean. means something. They're and clean. They're, they're, nothing they're fire gives, safe. They're everything. So, and they're and insurance safe. The, the whole works. Everything is yeah. done and dusted. We have all the accreditations. We have all the certifications. We have everything that will cover our yeah. back and our clients' back. People should talk to you. That should be a starting they should. moment. They, they actually should. We actually did a presentation to Intertrade Ireland yeah. on uh, the risks of fire within their... Uh, ventilation systems or grease extraction Good systems system. in yeah. uh, the RDS in Dublin. Mm. Uh, it was um, an eye-opener to see that people don't really understand what it is and the risk that's involved see, with not to, doing uh, this. I'm, I'm in the media, but I didn't know. Exactly, but most you people, know, most people most are not. Like that, yeah. Well, even the facilities managers who are in, in the game, if I can use it in the game, yeah. uh, they're not aware of what it is. Mm. So what we're mm. basically trying to do is educate people. How did you build the awareness? How what did we we where did you find what, out that word this was word necessary? Of, word of mouth. Really? Word of mouth. Dealing with uh, insurance companies, dealing with hotels, dealing with yeah. the restaurateurs. You know, you get smells, you get uh, grease running down walls. Oh, you know, for and that's, that's the basics of it. But there's, there's a lot more to it than what meets the eye. Yeah. And uh, as I say, we're just offering a service to the, the clients. Now, something good has happened. Well, first of all, well, you, uh, an amazing good thing has happened. You're employing 25 people. Well, we're employing 25 people and we've just secured monies from the, the uh, growth fund uh, in conjunction with Invest NI. Mm. And hopefully what we're going to do now is take our model and franchise it throughout Southern Ireland, uh, yeah. England, Scotland and Wales. So you, you will then become the administrator of a really wheeze gem of an idea. Well, as you I get say, people involved uh, to, to take it forward. That, that's exactly right. As I say, from a, a small niche in the market, we've now seen another niche in the market where we've built a biz, uh, quite a successful business up, and what we're trying to do now is drive it forward and mm -hmm. franchise it. And we'll offer a managed service to the people who want to buy the franchise. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Do you, you know, you've done this uh, at the tail end of a recession. Maybe. How long are you doing it? Uh, we're doing this 15 years now. Well, you've done it that in the um, middle of the recession. <laughs> as, I, as we say on a regular basis, a lot of blue chip companies have gone to the wall. We're yeah, still there. We're still there. So we're doing something right. But you know what they right. say, where there's muck, there's brass. Well, my mother always said, where there's muck, there's brass. Yeah. And I think we've proved that point, that we, where there's muck, yeah. there's brass. We had a, a Secretary of State once in Northern Ireland, and he... He always had the view, uh, if you put name on ladder, lad, that's if names on ladder, that, that, you know, that's and exactly say, well, there's right. muck, there's brass. That's exactly and that was right. the kind of thing he would come out with. But uh, the, the, the future now, the money you've got, is it a substantial input? It's a substantial amount of money, which hopefully will allow us, as I said, to franchise our business. And it's specifically in, in to group. promote the franchise. Specifically to promote the franchise within the rest of uh, Ireland, and yes. as I say, Scotland, England and Wales. Yes, and we yes. have a considerable amount of interest. Uh, it's only at the, the beginnings, but the interest is there already. Yeah. And as I say, with this money, we can hopefully move forward and build the company and uh, provide more jobs locally. I think this is this is a, a really is a huge uh, idea. It's, it's going so very very well for you. 
Uh, do you lose sleep at all about the responsibility involved in having 25 people to look after on a monthly basis? Um, uh, hand on heart, I can say that I would have quite a few sleepless nights ah, yeah, yeah, knowing that I have yeah. to provide work for these people yeah, uh, yeah. within the company. Yeah. Uh, but as I say, but what you ha you fear have can be a great motivator. Well, you dust yourself down and you, you take one on the chin and you move on and go, look, let, let's get on with this, you know. Yes. You know, you, you get knockbacks, you get knockbacks and you, you have to get up, dust yourself down and move forward and drive the business forward. Yeah. And I have to say, it's been it's been very enjoyable over Absolutely, the last 15 yeah. years. And Would I'm hoping the next 15 years are going to be well, even I, more enjoyable. Well, I'll tell you that I don't know how quickly the last 15 went for you. It was a blip. <laughs> but this is going to be a, a it, mega blip. It, 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 it's going to be gone. It, it was a blip. It yeah. was a blip. There's but no, uh, no very, very enjoyable. It. So the, 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 where you're based in Warren Point. We're based in Warren Point, yes. Okay. Uh, people, is there a structure that you use to get people to sit down? Uh, as I said at the beginning, people need to talk to you because they, do. they don't know and they do. they, it's significant in their business terms for them to find out. Uh, what's your best way of educating the people, uh, as you say? I actually find the best way of educating people is a simple way and it's word of mouth. Word of mouth. So the more people I can talk to and tell exactly what we're about and what yeah. we're doing, the better. Do you go with, do you go with a briefcase and a, and, and, and a price list? And well, what I'd say is uh, horses for courses. I can go with a, the suit and shirt and tie or I'll or go whatever. with my, my yeah. casual jacket, depending on what the market dictates, basically. Yes, of course, so if I'm going to a huge chain, yeah. I'll go suited and booted. Mm, of if course. I'm going to the corner whatever. store. But I, the, the I, key is to get them to sit down. And the listen. key is to get them to sit, give me five minutes of your time. Yeah. That's all I ask. Yeah. For five minutes of your because time. Because as you said, out of sight is out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind. And one of the other analogies that I would use, would you never insure your home? Because yeah. basically what you're doing is you not don't clean your grease extraction. You're not insuring. You have no insurance because you don't have the certificate. You guys out there realize this. If you do not, if you do not get your grease extraction systems the way they should be, and operational to the correct correct standard that these men have, then you're not insured. Yes. If the fire starts from that that, yes. that location, Whew, goodness gracious, we wish you well. Thank you very much. It's Thank a huge you for your thing. time. Not at all. You're welcome to come back here anytime. I would love that. And make the point. You know, you. We, you know, tell us how you're going on with the franchising, oh, and maybe we can come and come somewhere out. On, on location with would you, be, would with be a camera sometime. Would, would be excellent. Would be would nice be excellent. to do that. And be. at least let people see what we're talking about. Yes. This thing that no one knows, knows about. about that's, so you that's can point it. and say this, this, this and this. You that's know. excellent. Thank you very much. I'm going to play you some music now. Andrew's the man will do it. We've been talking with Paul Waters from Enviro Group. But tell people how they contact Enviro Group. Uh, you can contact Enviro Group at uh, 028 4175. 4035. They'll not remember that, but give them their, your website or your, your email. It's info at envirogroupni.com. Info at envirogroupni.com. And we'll say it once more for you just to make sure they get it. Info at envirogroupni.com. Yeah, you got it. Paul, go well and good luck. Thank you very You're much. You're really a superman. Thank you very, very God much. Bless you. That You're was, like a, a, nice. a modern day ghostbuster <laughs> of the real sense. I must use hey, that. That's not bad, <laughs> eh? I tell you. <laughs> that was very good. Thank you.